these girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. awareness. At this time, we would like to read a list of box elder honorees who have been impacted by cancer. And we have members of UMont in here as well. George Koppenhopper, Trisha. Bill Dine, Breezy Ainsworth, Diane Mullay, Gloria Robbins, Sally Swain, Rosalia Penrosa, Dean Palmer, Dwayne Yost, Grandma Doris, Faye Bolson, Dennis Stoll, Bryn Vaughn, Frank Goodman, Becky Patterson, and D. Karen Palmer, Dale Hendrickson, Lene Bradshaw. Larry Harding, Grandma Chilin, Stephanie Larkin, Dwayne Julander, Hardy Red, Brianna Clegg, Milton Norman, Brian Gibbs, Melissa Stewart. Trudy Klein, Laura Wilkins, Carol Holmes, Kyle Brandon Brager, Katrina Allred, Curtis Cope, Grandma Christie, Lynn Reeder, Mark 
Marge Small, Tom Judd, Grandma Bannon, Grandma Davis, Vicki Harding, Grandpa Chad, and Melanie Palmer. Every year, funds are raised to support a person who's been impacted by cancer. We are thrilled to rally around our recipient this year, Addie Swanton. Addie is the daughter of Jacob and Rachel Swanton. She's also a freshman at Ridgeline High, at Ridgeline High School and a member of the Riverhawks volleyball team. On September 9th, during a volleyball game, Addie was experiencing shortness of breath and an increased heart rate that raised up to 180. She was immediately taken by ambulance that, that night to Primary Children's Hospital, where she would be tested for extensive answers. After further testing, the results would ultimately come back quick. September 10th was the day that Addie's fight began and was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. Leukemia. Addie's treatment plan and length of stay at primaries is contingent on how her body reacts to chemo. What we do know is that Addie and her family have a long road ahead of them. Addie is the glue to her family and friends. She is strong, brave, funny, loud, compassionate, and a fighter. So please consider donating. We have a number of Venmo um, QR codes, thank you. We have a number of Venmo QR codes around the, um, the arena tonight, and we would ask that if you have time that you scan and make a donation to Addie. We also have a large jar up here at the scorer's table, so if you want to um, come yourself or send somebody, we would appreciate anything that you can donate tonight. So. And at this time, we're going to go ahead and we're going to warm up. All right, so welcome to Box Elder High School tonight, Scott. Thanks for joining me. And I wasn't aware of what all was going on previous to this or when anything was going to happen. I knew there was pink out night, but I didn't know any of the... Uh, the the details so that was kind of a, a awesome tribute they are doing here tonight yeah it's really special i'm sure there's not <clears throat> many people that have not been affected by cancer absolutely i mean it's everywhere yeah um, so one more reminder between sets two and three there's going to be a serving like competition game you need to pay a dollar to be a part of that and you get a prize there you go, Scott. <laughs> so, students, go get your money, go get your dollars so you're ready between sets two and three. Everyone else, get your kids some money so they can do that. Okay? I don't go think they'd let me do it. <laughs> See, they just said big kids and grown ups. You, you qualify on both of those accounts. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we've got a little bit of time here before things kick off, so uh, we'll just uh, let the warm-ups begin, and we will come back uh, probably halfway through the warm-ups and give you what little bit we know. Okay.
All right, we are back, and uh, we're, we're ready for some volleyball here tonight. Uh, another uh, heated Region 5 match going to happen here tonight. Uh, you know, you look at the state RPI rankings, uh, Box Elders 12, uh, Viewmont is 13. Uh, the two teams have met twice previously already this year. Uh, Box Elder beat them uh, in a tournament, in the Davis tournament earlier, early in the season. And then uh, this is uh, already starting uh, the second round of region play. Uh, Beaumont beat Box Elder at Beaumont uh, earlier in region play. So it must be Box Elder's turn. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see if that holds out with the, the pattern. Um, you know, playing in a tournament versus playing in a regular season match, they're, they're different, different animals. Um, you get really excited to get up and play in your your home gym um, tournaments. Sometimes you never know what can happen. So we'll hopefully we'll get to to see uh, Coach Harding's team come out and play hard. All right. And just as a side note here, uh, now you went to high school here at Box Elder, correct? Yes. Yep. So you are a Box Elder alumni, I but am. you're you're. Uh, uh, cousin is uh, Coach Hope from Beaumont. Yes, yeah. Kathy is my age, and and we grew up together. She would come up to our house, and we go down and play at her house. So, well, um, there's a little bit of a a pull from me on that one as well. Well, we are going to see uh, whether uh, uh, you know whether the family comes out <laughs> or or your. Uh, your, your true alumni spirit here, Scott. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely see that. So uh, we'll see which blood's thicker in your veins. <laughs> that's right. Uh, the purple box elder or the family blood, right? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but, no, I you know, I spoke to both coaches before the game. Uh, both coaches, you know, admit this is going to be a great game. It's going to be tough. I, I've asked him who's going to win. Uh, I'm sure that was the shocking answer from both of them. <laughs> it, it, you know, they both just say whoever shows up to play pretty much. Okay. You know, I mean, it's... So coach speak is what you're saying. It, it is. It's, <laughs> and, I mean, you look at where they, you know, they played each other. They each beat each other. Uh, RPI rankings have them right next to each other in the state. Yep. Uh, a very evenly matched. Uh, it should be a very good game here tonight. Uh, I mean, at least that's the way the pitchers painted. Yeah, yeah, and like you said before, with the with Box Elder taking one and and with Beaumont taking one, it it definitely seems like um, a good tight match. And and we'll see which Box Elder team shows up. The the last one I helped with was um, Bountiful and. <laughs> first two games were a little rough um, and then they showed up really hard in game three so if we get that box elder team then this is going to be a, a long night for for Beaumont or a short night I guess you know and uh, you know I I talked to coach Hope and I asked her I said I want the nitty-gritty what what I uh, you know give me give me some some dirt I can use or anything like that she goes well, the only dirt I can think of is everybody's trying to be bountiful. Nobody can do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't know that that's much dirt. <laughs> no. But it's definitely, that, that's definitely bountiful is the one to shoot for because they were, they were on a roll when we watched them here. You know, they, you know, bountiful is a very good team. Our whole region is, you know, right up there, you know. Yeah. You know, Box Elder, you know, Viewmont's number 13. There's 33 teams in the state. And uh, above uh, both of us, we have uh, Northridge and uh, Woods, Cross Woods Cross and Bountiful at, at the top in the state. Yeah. So, all right, we're going to turn things over to the announcer here. We're going to get things rolling, and uh, we're going to have some volleyball.
Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you tonight to Box Elder for our match between the Vimon Vikings and Box Elder Bees. At this time, we would invite you to stand, remove your hats, put your place, put your hand over your hearts as we have the national anthem by Ashley Lake. That was a little different. I like that. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Just too bad we're uh, missing a little bit of help tonight. We could have the camera on the floor. would have made it a little yeah. better. Yep, that would have made it a little better. That's okay. We'll get some help one of these times. 
But uh, but yeah, it's it's going to be a great game tonight. You know, like like I said earlier, everything the picture looks like it's going to be be a great game. So it and Coach Hope said it depends on who shows up to play. Yeah, yeah, it's going to. We'll see if it goes five, but even tight matches sometimes go three. Um, it can go 25, 23, 23, 25, you know, that kind of thing. So. Yep. You know, and all that, uh, you know, you talk about those tight matches and everything like that. A lot of that comes down to, you know, one service error or, yeah. or one bad pass or, you know, little minute errors that, yeah. I mean, ultimately can cost the game. Yeah, and even you don't want to put them on the spot, but even sometimes a, an officiating mistake sometimes will swing a game. Oh, um, they would never way. make a mistake, Scott. That's that's true. <laughs> they would, they would never do that. I can also say that say that because I've been an official <laughs> several times too. <laughs> All right, uh, it's going to get started here. Actually, Reader uh, to serve for Box Elder. Good start to the surf. And that little uh, tip there by Macy Christian uh, just out of the reach of Kinsley Curtis. And I noticed the difference between Bountiful and, and Viewmont. There's a lot of juniors and seniors on Viewmont's team. Oh, great set. And that kind of hit the, what, hit what's the antenna. The antenna, is that what you call it? Yep. Or you the, can. The out of bounds marker is what I usually call it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the antenna or, or the pin. A lot of people call it the pin. Christian uh, finds the net on that one to get Box Elder on the board. Libby Judd will come up and do the honors. Two good serves from Box Elder. And a big oh. roof put on by Bragger and Vaughn. They were right on top of that. That was a tip as opposed to a full swing, and they were right on top of it. Good serve. Bragger able to put that nice set from Beaumont down. Yep. I doubt she would say it, but Sometimes you you reach over to the or lean over and say thanks for that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, right good luck. again. A little late and got, but it helped her out. <laughs> and Judd continues her streak of serving. Good set. That one went out. That uh, brings up uh, Kaylee Smith to serve for the Vikings. Oh, good call. Oh, that Kenzie Curtis back there. She was <laughs> right there. Because <laughs> that that was close, and and when they're that close, it's you, you don't want to get on get on the pass on that because it'll throw you off. You may not get a good pass all the way up to your setter. Dahlgren doing the serving. Good swing from Viewmont right there. Ah, uh, facial there for Dahlgren. There, Beaumont setter is putting it in the right place. So far, the only mistakes have come from their hitters. We do not have a number 25 on the roster here for Beaumont. I apologize. <laughs> nope. Be a JV player getting in. Good set from Reader. Maybe after the first game, you could go find that out. Yeah. Came in just to serve. Back in for the and 
That brings up Haley Palmer to serve for Box Elder. Good pass. Yeah, well, good swing and set. Good set. We don't have number 21 on here either. 25 and 21. We would give their names out if we knew them. Yep. <laughs> number 21 again with a little, little dunk over yep. the net. Another thanks to Box Elder. Exactly. Brings up Grace McKay for the Vikings to serve. There's two things Vettel can do with that. They can either swipe block it like that or just crush it. Usually I try to crush it. <laughs> Good pass. You, you want the exclamation point on exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> In a good set on a missed pass. Oh, good call. Caught that little bit funny in her hands. McKay still serving. Good swing for Meekum. Shot. See if me can put this one away. Good dig. Both teams playing very well right now. A little free ball and oh, open spot in the play. back. Reader saw her go up to yeah. to get that, and she goes, "Thank you. I know where you <laughs> came from." Yeah, she was watching her setter, the opposing setter. Smart play and put it just out of the reach. So she was able to keep it in the court, but at just out of the reach of the, the Viewmont player. Good cuts coming from Box Elder. And that was long. Trying to call for a touch. Didn't get it. Like we said, 8-7. Yeah. Tight game. Meekum serving. Good and dig. Oh, a little tight on set. Shoot. It's a great dig from Meekum on a hard hit ball. And good swing from the Viewmont player. Okay, this brings up uh, Montalbo. Asking the line judge to step back <laughs> a little bit. She wants to see down the line. Let's save from Reader. See if Box Elder can take it back. Oh, Reader kind of saw that hole <laughs> yep. develop and she goes, I like it when I see a hole over there. That's why she's yeah. caught him on, on that's, that. That's why you send, when you have two front row hitters, that's why you send one around the back, is to open up that big hole. Kinsley Curtis serving. And a roof by Vaughn. Good hustle by both teams. And Vaughn Good gets swing. the touch and uh, the point. That's Vaughn's bread and butter, that slide. She really hits that well. Nice, easy touch there by Christian. Number 25 comes back in for the Vikings. And Anella Brianna's to serve. Bragger comes in and plays the Palmer for a box elder. One full rotation on the service already. Box elder with a two point lead. Number 25 hits it off, and Curtis can't quite 
pick that one up. There's not many errors. Everything is, is pretty solid for both teams. There's Vaughn with the slide again. Good hustle. And that gets blocked there by Smith. <clears throat> Christian serving. Oh, that, it was touched by uh, Beaumont, so. Yep. And, and the setter, who's a back row player, she didn't attack it, so she was legal. Just kind of poked at it. So uh, that would be an overhand would be an attack? Yeah. And, and the, the rules have changed a little bit. I need to look that up. I've been meaning to look that up. Um, I think it's you can't jump an attack. Found the big hole in the back corner. Yeah. Number 25 again. Kaylee Smith to serve for the Vikings. Actually, let me re rephrase that. You you can't jump an attack when you're a front row player. I was thinking uh, libero, but never mind. Free ball to Box Elder. Good playing by both teams. Great swing. And we'll Number see that. Eight. Yeah. Uh, Montavo. Yep. And again, the, the setter put that right perfectly where it needed to be. And I can't remember what Coach Hope told me. Uh, I want to say it was their, last year their setter did not come back and play this year. Um, I think last year the setter was actually her daughter and uh, graduated. But they had a backup setter that played really well when we saw him, I think. And maybe she didn't play. But this this number 17, she, she's got good hands. That might have been a lift, but they didn't call it. Found the hole again. She, Reader is so good with her eyes to yeah. be able to see the court and know where to place that. And that, that's, that's a good, the sign of a good setter is if you can read the whole court. It's a tough spot to be. The, the middle back has to, to cover both corners and you don't always expect that corner to be used. Again, good set, good swing. On the quick. And yeah, number 25, she's having a pretty good day out there so yeah. far. Whatever her name is, we don't know yet. <laughs> We will get that. We apologize. We just go off from the <laughs> roster that's given us. Yep. <laughs> Good dig from defense. Oh. She thought about it. She did. She thought about it. And, and Kayla Keeney was just a little slow getting to the ball. Uh, so she didn't have a whole lot of room to go with it. Well, All right, we'll be back so right after this. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare. That's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with the family after the services have been completed. And she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government, employee work. We go through credit cards. We, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. All right. 
Nice timeout called there by Coach Harding, uh, number 25, put that in the net and yep. gave I, Box Elder a free point. Free point, that'll bring in Haley Palmer to serve. And you look at that, Box Elder, they got, only got down three and called the timeout. Yeah, they, they know how tight this is gonna be. Two missed serves out of a timeout. That's something my coach would always, one of my coaches would always say is never miss a serve after a timeout. Playatini uh, on the wrong side of the net there. So the timing just a little off between the, the setter and the hitter on that one. Grace McKay here to serve. Good serve and good pass. Reader found the hole, but this time they were ready for it. <laughs> I also like to <clears throat> bring to your attention um, the center bottom of the screen there, Brigham. He didn't cool in our game partner here tonight. Uh, weather's starting to cool down. You might think uh, you may want to give them a call, have them come out and uh, service your furnace. Most air conditioning. Uh, at least I've had mine off for a week or so. <laughs> we mostly have. Good swing. Or, uh, I mean, long swing. Nice. Good serve. Had to move your feet. So you watch that all the way till it hit the ground. Oops, that's not the one I wanted to do. I messed it up. <laughs> still learning the system. I'm, I'm still trying to figure <laughs> this thing out. I had it earlier. Box Elder needs to turn it around. Spot, but their libero is all over that. Free ball back to the Vikings. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> that was not the play that Umont drew up, I don't think. <laughs> all right, timeout number two for Box Elder. We'll be right back. <laughs> One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me to be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan and I'm an Aggie. <laughs> We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, out of that timeout, Box Elder now down five. <clears throat> Make that four. It's a good play from Box Elder to get out of the out of the little stretch that Piemont was giving him. Kinsley Curtis to serve.
Nice dig there by Meekum. A hustle from Box Elder. And a oh. joust won by Judd. Wow. That's a tough push. They say the last one up is usually the one that wins that, and that's what happened right there. You get stuck in the middle of the air, pushing against somebody with no gravity behind you. And Judd lost that one, but net call. Oh, she got so. the net, yep. She didn't want to lose it again, so she pushed a little harder and they got the net. Box holder back with him too. Easy ball for Box Elder. And Judge knocks it over and brings it to within one. And guess what? Time out. Time out. We'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. <laughs> These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. <laughs> All right, we are back. Finally got that figured out. <laughs> yeah, works pretty good. Oh, they called a little early, but still missed it. Not much room for air. Got to turn it around now. Brion serving. Oh, great dump. That. That's at least three of those in this game for a year. Yeah. Yeah, their the middle needs to be on top of that for Viewmont. When they gotta know if there's a front row setter, you gotta go up with them when they're in the middle. Oh, big block. Good swing from Viewmont. Oh, and bounce back and hit her in the face. Those never feel good. And that block was out of bounds. It's a good play by the by the setter. Going right back to the hitter. She swung hard the first time, just the block was there. A little close. And this brings up game point here. And Christian can put it away with this serve. Oh, good cut. It's too far out. A little bit out. 25 22, game number one. Uh, still a tight match. Yeah. I mean, nobody was. I mean, both teams had a lead. Uh, you know, there, there was, it was tight. There was not a whole lot of mistakes necessarily till right towards the end. A couple miss hits, a couple hits out of bounds from both teams. Um, but for the most part, pretty well played first oh. game. All right, we're going to hear from some of our sponsors, and then we will be right back. figured at 21 years old, I had the world figured out. Then life got real. I had to figure out what to do to provide for my family. She kept throwing out this idea of going back to school, and I'm, I'm, I'm too old to go back to school. 
but you have a campus right here in town that's a mile away it made it a lot easier. Everything was in the evening and worked around my schedule. I still had a family to take care of and I had some good professors. It was nice to have them understand that and then present their class in a way that recognized it and made it fun to learn again. I'm so proud. I'm proud that he stuck it out. There's many times where he asked me, why am I doing this? But there's a reason and it's changed our world. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare, and that's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with the family after the services have been completed, and she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work. We go through credit cards. We, do, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. <laughs> These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. This is great for all of my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available so that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my shy fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video, photo, and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star, where you become the star. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Scott, thank you for uh, doing the dirty work here, going down and uh, trying to get a name for number 25, number 21, and I'll let you tell that story. Yeah, the, the assistant coach said that they found the, that Viewmont found their jerseys in, their old jerseys in a closet. They decided to have a throwback match. So they're wearing some old jerseys and they couldn't find the right ones. All right, let's so 25 is Maddie Legge. And 21 is Cassidy McKean. All right, we apologize for not having that information ahead of time. But uh, we, we will start putting some names out now. Yep. Because <laughs> they played well, both of them. Yeah, that uh, Maggie Leggy there, she's six foot one. She's only a sophomore. And, uh, I mean, she's shown some, some good... Uh, Good things out there here tonight. Yeah. Yeah, they've they've played well. All right, Macy Christian to start the serving. Get this game underway. And ball's not dead. Free ball. Better than no ball. And Boxella comes away with the point. Good hustle. Ashlyn Reeder to serve here for Box Elder. And into the net goes McKay. Box Elder up with a 2 0 lead. <clears throat> Leggy right there again. Yep, now we can put a name to the number. Jeez. Sounds better than number 25. Yep, it Not does. Not that 25 is a bad number. Nope. <laughs> That'll bring up Kaylee Smith to serve. got a different kind of serve and it I could see that throwing people off and there was a big hole right there that uh, McKay read on that one perfectly yeah
And Smith gives it back to Box Elder and a one point lead. <laughs> Judd serving and oh. that returns the favor. Yeah. A few more missed serves today than we've seen previously from these. <laughs> Leggy up to serve. And got carried off a little bit to uh, to Curtis Cutter right in the middle. Up serve. Nice save. Oh, and just barely long. Yep. That dropped really fast. I'm not sure that that they would have been able to get or uh, done anything good with that if they it had been in. And another service error gives the ball back to the Vikings and Grace McKay will serve. And she returns the favor. Yeah. Well, if you're going to miss one, then it, it's it's good for them to miss one right back. Uh, it's only absolutely. fair. So Maddie Reader back to serve. And coming up short, Box Elder with a three-point lead. Good play from Dumont. That was Cassidy McKean. And Montalbo up to serve for the Vikings. Good pass. And Mika oh. right inside that block. Yeah. The Umont blockers didn't quite seal it. Didn't get, get their hands close enough to the net. And so she put it right down the front. Just long there for McKean that time. I think this might be the the B's largest uh, largest margin so far. I, I believe you're right. And McKean almost looked like she was too far under that and yep. hit it, and it just kind of popped right over the top of the front row. Yeah, she she got a last little. Swing right at the end. I definitely impressed with Dumont Setter. I mean, I I think that that ours is great, but um, Dumont Setter is playing really well. And got it in there for Calakini. <laughs> right on the back line. Yep, made the line jump. <laughs> Kinsley Curtis back in to serve for the Bees. Free ball. Leggy gets it in the hole. Rager has a, a little bit of a height advantage, disadvantage. Uh, so I she jumped it just a little early on that. And uh, and Leggy went right past her. And it was touched. 
Box over point. Ashlyn Reeder to serve. Good hard swing, but great touch by Viewmont. A little bit of miscommunication. And Judd gets it over with the touch. And no timeout yet by Viewmont. Christian is all over the court. Her, her passers are kind of letting her down. Well, uh, we have all of our passes seem to be going right where we want them to. There you go. And with that timeout, we'll take one. Be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel, in 2001. My wife, Lori, and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. I figured at 21 years old, I had the world figured out. Then life got real, I had to figure out what to do to provide for my family. She kept throwing out this idea of going back to school and I'm, I'm, not, I'm too old to go back to school. But you have a campus right here in town that's a mile away, it made it a lot easier. Everything was in the evening and worked around my schedule. I still had a family to take care of and I had some. College is pretty expensive. All right, we are back. I apologize, I had to cut off Kyle Whitaker there. But I didn't realize I threw on the minute long instead of another 30 second. <laughs> Ashlyn Reeder, serve. Good up. Kind of some jumbled playing right now. <laughs> Coach Hardy's <laughs> getting her exercise. <laughs> oh, nice move put on there by Ky Kaylee Smith. Good play. It was a good swing by Brager, but yeah, she was right there. And Smith will go on back to serve. Free ball. Nice block. Little up and over there to make it work. And Reader almost found it. And just outside, just you know, outside yeah. Box Elder the point and six point advantage. The view my hitters can can swing. They they have some power behind some of those hits. She just hit that one a little outside, but <clears throat> but they they have some power. And the service error. Let's see if they can return the favor again. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of been that way. Yep. I think most of them have been followed one right after another. Leggy to serve. Nope, oh, not this time. Not this time. And the little dunk by McKean. Good swing from Meekum. Back 
Nice hit there by Montalvo. Good play from Beaumont. And McKay serving and Beaumont within four. Good swing. They're right on top of it. Got to reach over on that. And Montalvo with the block. It's a good swing from from Knight. And nice spot there oh. by yeah. Meekum. Yeah, found that hole. That's a tough one to defend. Yeah, to get somebody in place to, to defend that opens up another big yeah. hole somewhere else. Exactly. So. Maddie Reader serving this time. Meekum over the top. Oh, good pancake. Oh, I thought she got it, but the down ref had a better angle than I did. That corner, they're 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 trying to get to that uh, edge as best they yeah. can, but that one has got a little, little too past far past the edge. Oh. Yep, Montalvo to serve. Oh, yeah, she's way too far up to be ducking for that one. Yeah, she was. Smith with the threading of the needle with the arm blocks on that. Yeah. Vikings within two. Tight pass. Coach Harding wanting the net call on that, and I, I was, tend to a believer on that one. I, it, the only problem is I think it was us. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it came off from the one that. Oh no! It it was, well, it, it could have been that she did too, but I saw Ashlyn touch it. Oh, okay. All right. With that timeout, we'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare. That's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with the family after the services have been completed, and she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work. We go through credit cards. We, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. All right, we are back. Montalvo serving. Nice block. We are going to, to meet them, their big hitter. Oh, goes off from Palmer. Palmer. That's a tough one. You're you're guarding the line, making sure that she doesn't go down the line, and then she rockets it right past your left shoulder. All right, game going to seven at this point, or no, eight. I gotta <laughs> gotta get my math going here again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Beaumont with the first lead of the game. 
Actually, I think they had the first point, didn't they? Or did? No, I think Box Elder started off. Two nothing. We've got Kayla Small has subbed in. Kennedy Bond's been kind of quiet this game. Yes, yeah, she has. And uh, now it's first one to seven. So Meekham back to serve here for Box Elder. Free ball back to the Vikings. Smith gets roofed yeah, by tough. Reeder. Box Elder back on top. That was a good, good wind up and swing there by Smith. So, yeah, thought. Brill's on that one. She goes, nope, I hit that one wrong. <laughs> yep. Coach says, that's okay. We're going to take a timeout. We'll be right back. This was great to go with the flow of my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my shy fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production, and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video, photo, and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star, where you become the star. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important, and when you have a family-owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, Here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. All right, we're back. Make them serving. And that one was a touch. Box Elder by three. See if they can put it away. But the way this match has been going, I'm not sure that they can just yet. Yeah, I wouldn't bank on it at this point. Oh. Judd with a nice hit. Those gifts, sometimes when they're a little far off the net, they throw you. She, she almost put that right in the middle of the net. Free ball. And a double hit double call. Hit. Well, maybe they can. Two more. All of a sudden, they're up five. On the oh. line for the <laughs> ace. There we go. That was a great surf. You know, Not you, much you can do with that. Nice spot that time by McKean. Brings up Briones to serve. Smith hits it long. And that is the game one apiece. Yep. Just what we expected. It's a uh, it's a tight match. So yeah, this is going to be probably to five. We'll see. All right, we will find out right after this. 
We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare, and that's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with the family after the services have been completed, and she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work. We go through credit cards. We, do, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. <laughs> These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me. To be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan and I'm an Aggie. <laughs> We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. College is expensive and concurrent enrollment classes are like five bucks a credit. It's such a good deal. Financially, it's just, it makes sense. It motivates me a lot more to learn more in the class. It's been really cool to be able to not only learn new things, but also receive high school and college credit. It's not just another class that you take in high school. It's actually something that's going to help me in my future. I think that USU is really out to help students get where they want to be in life. That's what's important about college.
All right, good job, Scott. <laughs> You're gonna have to go back and rewatch this now. Yeah, <clears throat> watch me standing there while everybody else is serving. <laughs> Fast forward to the end, we got you serving. <laughs> it was for a good cause, right? That's right, absolutely. All right, so one game apiece right now. We knew it was going to be tight, and it's that's what it's been through two matches so far. Yeah, it has. They've both played pretty solid. Not much in the way of hitting errors and, and things like that. They've, they've done both pretty well. You know, it's uh, we'll see who comes out on the top. This game is far from over. It's the best of three starting over right now. Yep, exactly. And they can both look at mistakes that they've done and they can both look at good things they've done right now box elder has a little bit of the, the momentum because they won the last one yeah but it seems like after a game it kind of mellows out starts over most of the time mm -hmm. so if they can continue to carry that momentum with them then you know definitely they would have the advantage but we will see what happens Looks like Ashlyn Reeder will start the serving Ashlyn for the Bees. Good swing from Beaumont. And a roof put on by Smith to give them the first point. Then I was just about to say exactly what Coach Harding just told Knight. Got to cut that a little harder so that it goes out of bounds when they block that. At Montavo, number eight, she's a weapon in the back row even. Uh, as well as the front row. And McKay gets the block on that one. Christian will serve again. And the gift to the bees. And hopefully they don't give it back. Hallie Reader in to serve this time. Yep. She's a sophomore. I noticed that last time. Well, the readers have pretty well got every grade covered. <laughs> yep. And Bragger with a couple of blocks right there. See if they can put it away. Oh, scramble play. Good hustle from both teams. Yeah. And Smith finds the hole. It's a great play again by, by Christian Sitter from Viewmont. Everybody was going to that side because it was a hustle play, and she back set it to the one person standing on the other side of the court. Good pass. That's going to be. Oh, oh, wow. Nice. That was a good read by Meekum on that because that yeah. was, I was gonna, that's going to be a hard one to get. Yep, and she was all over it. You got to watch that that she uh, the the Viewmont player Montavo she was standing past or almost to the stands when she hit that and there's only one place you can go and Meekum was right there. Boxelder needs to get a pass to the reader. And uh, Leggy with a <coughs> easy stuff on that one. Yep. And a quick timeout called by Box Elder. So we'll take one. We'll be right back. This was great to go with the flow of my children. I would love to have three of her on set. I will use her anytime she's available that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my Thai fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production, and I could not have made it without her. 
you're the star of video, photo, and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star, where you become the star. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. And another gift for Box Elder. That's how Box Elder's got all their points this game. Yeah, two missed serves and two points. Good serve. Box Elder scored their points on two bad serves and two, one good serve. Yeah. <laughs> nice block. Over the top and a big oh. open hole over there yep. that Ashland didn't quite get back when she needed to. That'll bring up Leggy to serve. Good and swing. through the block goes Meekum. That power through those. Great, great swing. <laughs> yeah, they, they were in position with that block, but they just a little bit weak. Yeah, when, when Meekum's swinging, it's... Tough to keep your hand straight up. That one's Maddie Reader serving. Meekum finds the back row for the point. Nice job. Nice dig. And a nice finish there by McKay. <clears throat> Chris wanted a lift on the on the set. <clears throat> Could have gone either way. It definitely looked like it stuck in her hands just a little longer than she should have. And McKay serving. And that one hit the antenna, it's out. <clears throat> what was the score of that second game? 25-18? I think, I think that's right. And it's all tied up. Box Elder after a slow start, coming back, getting back in the game. That one oh. was out. Good, good eye from from Ashlyn. Now she moved, and I go, uh oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing some extended time from Kayla Small from Box Elder this time. All right, would you call that one an ace? <clears throat> um, yes. <laughs> there we go. Usually, an ace is when nobody else touches it. <clears throat> Good serve. Good back set again. Judd found a, found a nice spot down there. Oh, good swing from Small. And from Ashland. And just like that, Box Elder's up by three. Yep. Yeah, that's been a big swing here in this game. Yeah, one of the biggest swings we've had in a short amount of time. Yeah, 
Uh, Viewmont turned around, I think, the first one. First game really quickly, and, and now Box Elder's done the same. Just a little timing off there. That, yep. that Her just kind of just <laughs> off a bit. And that will bring up the first time out. We'll be right back. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I love small classes, and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me to be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house. has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan, and I'm an Aggie. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. <laughs> All right, I had the wrong button highlighted on here to go next. Nonetheless, we are back. Cool. You might touch the net after they punched each other on the, the miscommunication. Both got their hands up to try to pass it over and punched each other. Make them doing the serving. He's on a roll. Nice spot by Dahlgren. <laughs> the official trying to get a hold of the shagger over there. <laughs> but pay attention here. We're trying to play a game. <laughs> oh, good save. Antenna out. <laughs> Box Elder was down. Were they down 7 2? Or were they I, down. Yeah, I think that's right, when Meekin went back to serve. And a great block, great save. Roll shot. Roll and small with the block. Small's having a great game. Yeah, she's playing well. I can tell you from experience, it's fun to come off the bench and play well in a volleyball match. It's usually where I was sitting, I was on the bench. <laughs> good, good dump again by Reeder. And lots of Vikings on the floor diving for it. Yeah, great effort going on. And Coach Hope's gonna make something up. She'll bring in Vetch uh, to replace Small. Sometimes just mixing it up a little bit is all you really need. Great set, great swing on that one. Awesome. And now it's back. <laughs> and uh, that kind of that was a big icebreaker there for the Vikings. Yeah. Box Elder had a great run going on there. Montalbo to serve. Bad pass coming back, but also want everybody to know uh, Box Elder Senior Night Football tomorrow night. We'll be doing it right here. So uh, make sure you watch that. And then uh, next week we got two volleyball games. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday next week.
antenna. The, the official wasn't looking at the, the lines people, but they were saying, no, it was out. Montalvo again. And just too far away yep. on that one. It's like Small can jump really high, but you still got to get the ball in the right place. Of surf. And off in the arms of Reeder or Small. And uh, Coach Harding says, that's enough. Yep, let, swing let, back. Let, let's stop it and we'll be, <laughs> we'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare. That's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with the family after the services have been completed. And she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work. We go through credit cards. We, do, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. <laughs> College is pretty expensive and concurrent enrollment classes are like five bucks a credit. It's such a good deal. Financially, it's just, it makes sense. It motivates me a lot more to learn more in the class. It's been really cool to be able to not only learn new things, but also receive high school and college credit. It's not just another class that you take in high school. It's actually something that's going to help me in my future. I think that USU is really out to help students get where they want to be in life. That's what's important about college. And now that timeout uh, paid off for Coach Harding. Yep, big swing from Small. Oh, Smith. The pass. <laughs> Smith played that net very well. Yeah. <laughs> Not only did she sneak it pack past the blockers, but the net stopped it from getting to the defender. And another gift for Box Elder. After Box Elder got their first two points off from those, yep. uh, they, they get one more later in the game. Ashlyn Reeder. A little long there for Leggy. set and Smith gets it off from small they're wearing her wearing her out she's hitting quite a few good serve nice save by leggy the back set by reader let's swing by breaker too <laughs> Vikings been putting the roof on over there, but Box Elder's been <laughs> been scrambling and getting everything. Back deep, nice oh. save by Reader. Oh my word. <laughs> was that a double hit? No, it was two different girls. Okay. Wow, what a volley going on here. A little joust. And Judd hey, good saves save. it. Oh, boy. 
Oh! And Beaumont comes out with a point. That took forever. Wow. That was a rally. I mean, it wasn't all pretty. No. <laughs> There's a little slop on both sides of the net, I believe. Yeah. But, but they, that, that, was, that was well played. That was fun. Oh. Do they not call that a double hit? When not when it's in the same motion. Okay. Nice block by Bragger. Nice block again. That one was Knight, I believe. These are playing well. They need to put a ball down. And that and one works. Reader aimed for that corner. Yeah. Allie Reeder for that service. And Point Beaumont. Good hustle from Veach just stepping in. Nice dig. Good save from Ashlyn. Right game. <laughs> and Coach Harding. <laughs> we need a camera just for Coach Harding. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> you think that they have seven players out there. <laughs> Dahlgren serving here for Box Elder. And a five point lead with four to go. That's a good serve. Mika oh, just shoot. misses. Pelegi comes up now to serve for the Vikings. Yeah, that was just a little bit long, and she knew that uh, yep. every night when she hit that. She was, ah! <laughs> yeah. You know, she put some power on it, too, maybe expecting someone to get a hand on it. Meekum, she gets it. Got the touch off the block. All right, Box Elder up five. Maddie Reeder doing the serving. Oh, big hit from Beaumont. McKean with that one. Very timely for them. They needed that one. Brings up Grace McKay to serve. Grace McKay serving for Beaumont. Tough serve. Good pass. Good block, and oh. how did she miss that one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I shouldn't have missed that. Yeah. <laughs> and Coach Hardy now they're telling him, think, you guys, think, pay attention, focus. Box Elder by three. And again, another one of those just not getting them over. Yep, she uh, brought her wrist down <laughs> too fast. Got to reach up high on those swings, especially when you're not that close to the net. You know that you want to hit it as hard as you can, but you still got to have the right arm swing. And Great that one's swing. in. And game point here. Make him with that hit and make him to serve. That, that ball was coming off so fast for Meek and the line judge called it touch and then it landed in. <laughs> Oh, 
Good pass from Beaumont. Nice dig there by Meekum. And Ooh. Judd comes too far under the ball. Yep, a little weak, on, little weak wrist on it. Game point number two with uh, Montalvo serving for the Vikings. Game point for Box Elder. Smith comes back in for that front line for the Vikings. And that one's too deep. long. And it's getting tight. Only a one-point lead, but it's it's the third game point here for Box Elder. Yep. This is what we would expect. Montalvo to serve. Ooh, miscommunication on the B's part. Judd shoots it out of bounds. It's all tied up. Extra innings here. Hadn't seen Kennedy much. No, she hasn't been in this game hardly at all. And point, Box Elder. Good push. One-handed joust. Yeah, and her size and everything, you know, she was outsized. Yeah. Yeah, again, like, like I said before, it's sometimes, with, or most of the time with those jousts, it's the last person up. Kinsley Curtis to serve. Game point number four. They we're waiting for that one. Oh. Nobody there for that set. No. Nope. Tied up again. Brion serving. And the advantage game point goes to Beaumont. Tight match, tight or tight game, tight game. Brion's to serve. Fox Elder's lost a little of their mojo. They need to get it hit down. And not like that. Leggy said not <laughs> at my house. So yeah. after four, was it four or five game points Box Elder had on that? Yeah. Game ends up going to Viewmont. 27-25, so as we expected, tight match all the way through. We'll hear from our sponsors and we'll be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare. That's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with the family after the services have been completed and she'll help them with social security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work. We go through credit cards. We, do, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. Um, we purchased the mortuary, the funeral chapel in 2001. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. But we like to go one step further ahead. College is expensive and concurrent enrollment classes are like five bucks a credit. It's such a good deal. Financially, it's just, it makes sense. It motivates me a lot more to learn more in the class. It's been really cool to be able to not only learn new things, but also receive high school and college credit. It's not just another class that you take in high school. It's actually something that's going to help me in my future. I think that USU is really out to help students get where they want to be in life. That's what's important about college. This is great. Don't spoil my children. I would love to have three of her on set. 
I will use her anytime she's available that she can work on my films. Brooklyn was able to get my shy fiance to relax and show her true personality. Brooklyn is the Navy SEAL of set production and I could not have made it without her. You're the star of video, photo, and design. Leave or send a message to the email or phone number listed below. You're the star, where you become the star. <laughs>
And nice roof by Montalvo. Oh. And Meekham says, oh. I see an open hole. Yep. And she, she hit it. it. Good hustle from both teams on that one. Montalvo finds the hole and nice. Good upper reader. And then Small capitalizes. Oh, they said somebody hit the net. They said Small hit it. <clears throat> see, I don't, I don't see that. It was, I, I don't look for it either. <laughs> it was subtle. It, it was not much of a hit, a, a touch of the net, but it's still a touch of the net. Good swing. Just off from the uh, left arm of Meekham on that one. Oh, good use. Knight just inside the block. That's earlier in the in the match. Coach Harding told her to, to get just a little further out so that she had a harder angle, and that's exactly what she did right there. Maddie Reeder to serve. Good pass. Montalbo oh. killed it. Yes, she did. Said to put that right on top of the net for her. And then she'll go back to serve. Bees by two. And oh, make him right there. For it. Christian said, I'll just tip that one over. Yep. Wasn't paying attention to Meekham in the nope. in the spot and make him read it, played it perfect. Yeah, and you gotta do that when you got a front row setter. When they're jumping, you gotta be ready for that. Smith came back in and they go right to her. Good dig, right to the setter. Oh shoot. And Small came up just a little bit short. Yeah, she's got to reach up high on those. Same thing as last time, she, she swung a little fast. Kind of excited. First time playing quite a bit, maybe. Briones to serve for the Vikings. And got, Leggy got the net. Yep, they caught Beaumont fishing that time. She came up, that pass was so close to the net, she came up to it. She was trying to reach over to stop it. And she didn't want the reader to dump it over. <laughs> Probably what she was doing is, is worried about reader. Nice block. Good push block. That oh, one shoot. didn't work. No. But that, that was a great touch on, on uh, the swing from Smith. Christian back again to serve. Judd. Cool. Judd again. And again. And Curtis with great save. Oh, that time she couldn't get it. Good hustle from both teams on that one. Reader serving. Make him digging. Good swing. And night killing. Yeah. 
I thought that one was going to be a little long for a second. Yeah, it did. <laughs> it dropped really quickly. Knight hits really well when there's not a block right there. I don't mean that as sarcastically. I mean, she she hits it straight and it goes down. But that's right where the blockers normally can wait. Montalvo from the back row. Oh, good Knight. save. And Box Elder needs one on this one. Great volley going on. Nice dig by Curtis. Oh, oh <laughs> man, that was sloppy, but it worked. <laughs> yeah. Oh, then Vikings came away with the point. <laughs> I'm a little surprised that Ashlyn waited for somebody else. Usually she's really aggressive going after that second ball. Good up. Nice spot by Reader. That time she called him off. She yeah. says, this is mine. Get away. Exactly. <laughs> That's normally what happens. She probably felt a little embarrassed that she did that right before. So Judd up to serve, B's by four. But we saw how that worked last game. Yep. Oh, good push block from Drager. She's gonna be a good player, that Montabo. She's a good front row and back row player for Mumont. Mika had to stretch to grab that, but she got it. Montalvo found the hole. There. <laughs> Knight with the little pushover. She's been really consistent ever since the first game, I think, where she struggled just a little bit. Dahlgren up to serve. Oh, that, uh, that, been that, a lift. that was a, a little obvious. Her yeah. going under, she limboed clear under. I think both <laughs> yeah. feet were underneath the crossing the line. Yep. Great limbo, though. <laughs> exactly. She did. Um, she she lifted the ball. It kind of stuck on her. She threw it up. But it was a good block. Oh, I don't agree with that. Well, she finished it. Yep. <laughs> Beacom said, uh, it doesn't matter. I'm going to put it away. It's a little early on that call. Yeah. Maddie Reader in to serve. Call that an ace. Puppies. Montalvo Ooh. gets roof, but it goes out of bounds. Great swing, great block. Just got to turn that in. Montalvo back to serve. Yeah, they're going to be good again next year. They got some seniors on the team, but they've they've got a good supporting cast coming up. Yeah, there number Beaumont. number twenty five, their middle blocker. That's really tough. She's a sophomore. That was a lot better turning that but that swing in. Oh, a nice read that time by McKay. Ooh. Seems like they're just trading points out there is all they're doing <laughs> right, right now. now. They are. Yeah. 
Nice hole there for McKay. And that oh. pass did not work. And timeout called by Coach Harding. Timeout, please. We will take one and be right back. We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. We do aftercare, and that's where Melanie Christie will go in and meet with a family after the services have been completed, and she'll help them with Social Security, help them file for life insurance, help them with federal government employee work. We go through credit cards. We, do, we help the family with all that transition that's coming out. <laughs> These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. All right, we're back. Uh, we'll see if that timeout iced uh, Montalvo at all. Serving for the Vikings, Liza Montalvo. Make him. Just put that ball all over, rolls and, and tips. Oh, nice spot there for Smith. That's usually what we see Box Elder doing. Yeah, and she just uh, played our game on that and beat us at it. Montalvo's have a, had a pretty good run at service here. And ball control killed the bees, and it's all tied up at 16. Yep. Got to get this pass. Ooh, that, that was almost an accident waiting to happen. Yeah, I've actually seen people hurt that way. That doesn't mean you still shouldn't go for it, but. All right, there's another box elder timeout. We'll be right back. One thing that I think is awesome about USU Brigham is how personal it is. I've loved small classes, and I'm shocked how professors have got to know me to be able to save money, have school three minutes away from my house. has been awesome. I want to teach high school kids. I want to be involved with their lives and try to help them be the best that they can be. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm Hunter Morgan, and I'm an Aggie. <laughs> We've been in business here at Gillis Funeral Chapel for the last 18 years. My wife Lori and I have always felt that family is important and when you have a family owned funeral home, you get personal um, attention than you do than the big corporate funeral homes that are in the area. A lot of funeral homes will just say, here's your bag and thank you for letting us do your services, but we like to go one step further ahead. <laughs> All right, we're back at it. Montalvo still serving. That's two timeouts taken while she was serving. Yeah, she served them tough, too. Good pass out of it. Oh, great. Small paid off on that for that timeout. Yeah, that, and that, that started with a good pass from Meekum. Great set from Reeder, and Small got up and put that away. She can really jump. She's just got to be able to tone that, that swing to make sure she's on top of it. We'll be seeing her more next year. She's only a junior. Yep. Judd with a great Touch. block and a joust won by Judd. And Smith goes long. Box Elder back up by one. Meekum back to serve. Gotta watch that one. 
Should have had a spy on the on the setter because she got that right where she could have really dumped it on him. And at that point uh, ties it up at 18 and Brion's will serve. Reader's been running for sets a lot more in this game. Ooh. Ooh. That's good they're laughing. I was going to say, they're laughing. They must be okay. <laughs> you know, we haven't seen many service errors this time. Make sure you go on the court the right direction. <laughs> yeah. I, that's, I don't get that, but you have to do it behind the, the 10 foot line. Leggy puts it on the line. Yep. That's, she's the one that, she's a sophomore. Yeah, we'll be saying her name over the next sure, couple years. Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Oh. A little better communication needs to happen on that one. Christian doing the serving, and that pass didn't work. Nope. A little bit of frazzle going on from Fox Elder. Had four passers. Sometimes that causes confusion. And blocked out of bounds there. Smith gets the point. We gotta turn it around now. Nice shoulder. <laughs> oh, no, no blocker on that. Can't let that happen. Nice job by Reeder capitalizing on that. Oh. The leggy just fired it down. And uh, Beaumont could put this one away here if Box Elder doesn't step it up. Bragger gets moved oh. by Leggy, and it's game point. Match point. She's been dominant. Leggy's been dominant the last few, few points, five or six points. She's taken over. Christian can finish it right here. Our passing is just not going well right now. Put it away. And Good spot. Judd is able to keep it alive. Beaumont was down about this far and came they back came and back. won the last one. So this is game point number two for Beaumont. Big cut from Knight. Free ball. And Leggy to finish it off. So uh, Beaumont will take it. And as, as I mentioned, the, four. It, it was a tight match, even though they lost in four. They, all of them were within a few points. All of them were within range for anybody to get. Yep. You know, that, uh, especially that third set, Box Elder should have had it. Yeah, they should have. They, they had plenty of opportunities to, to take it, and, and Beaumont just fought back into it and uh, was able to steal it from them. Uh, but region five is a tough region. Yeah, lots of good teams, lots of good players. Uh, just this one right now, right here, you can see uh, Box Elder has some good players and and uh, Beaumont definitely has some too. You know, and what I've seen all the way along, you know, obviously we're, we're from Box Elder, we want Box Elder to win. But the part that I've liked about uh, region five volleyball this year is 
they're all good games. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's not like it's just a, a lopsided blowout or anything like that. It, it's, it's been great volleyball. Well, other than Bountiful. Yeah. <laughs> but even then, um, and I don't know how Coach Harding felt about the first couple of games, it was fun to watch that team because they were, they were a great team. And, and they, these guys, they were, they were fun to watch. There was not, you don't go see six in a row missed serves. You didn't see a lot of bad hits. It was long rallies, uh, great digs, great hits, great blocks. It was a, a well-played game match. It, it was. It was. It was fun to watch. Uh, you know, great to have Umont here. Uh, Coach Hope and uh, her team. Congratulations. And you know, state playoffs going to come up. You know, and I mean, it's like it was said pre-game. You know, it depends on what team shows up. Yep. Because I, you know, you play them again. Box Elder could come out on top. Yeah. I yeah, think, exactly. You know, you, you play Northridge again, Box Elder could come out on top. Yeah. You know, and, you know, a few years ago when Box Elder beat uh, Bountiful for the state tournament, Bountiful won, uh, won the region, and, you know, when Box Elder played here and there, Box Elder won them at, beat them at the state tournament. I mean, you get in the state tournament, anything can happen. Yeah, the state tournament changes everything. Um, like, like I said earlier with with Box Elder beating Viewmont in the, in a tournament preseason, um, tournaments are a whole different animal in state tournament, especially. All right, we will keep it live here uh, for a majority of the uh, JV game. I've got to head out to work, so as soon as time gets close enough to where I got to run, we'll we'll shut it down. But we will keep a keep the video feed on for. Uh, the JV game, and I uh, appreciate everybody watching. And uh, Scott, appreciate your help. Yeah, always fun. Thanks All right. for having me. Don't forget tomorrow night, Box Elder football. Uh, we'll be right here. Game kickoff at seven. We'll start the stream about six thirty. Right.